What up, though? What it do? All right. Let's see what we about to uh, just play a little Battlefield Shield. You know, the same old shit. Just a little different toilet, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's, let's see what videos we got. I'm really just trying to chill, so I might not even play that much Battlefield, but I might just sit here and watch videos and shit. Just depends, you know what I'm saying? Like adult diapers. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Did I even put up the video? Hey, there goes the video. It's Charleston White 24 hour marathon. What the? Let's see what that is all about. So how how do we deprogram that way of thinking? Oh uh, well you 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 uh you you tell them when the last time you seen a snitch get a stitch. There you go. <laughs> they talk that shit. Uh but if, if we being honest as black people, uh most of us most of us are raised to tell. If if, if we all spend a night at grandmama house, all the cousins, and we do something. And grandmama coming there and say, who broke this motherfucking lamp? And don't nobody say nothing. Everybody get an ass whooping. Everybody. By exactly. the time they get to the one who didn't break it, they telling, cause they don't want that ass whooping. She, they done seen how she done hit, accidentally hit you in the back. <laughs> uh, this nigga here done ran and she go, she got to chase him. So you sitting back it's watching funny. these niggas go through it Grandma. for that ass whooping. Now you know you didn't break that. Yeah. She done whooped the nigga that already done broke it. You don't need to get me, Granny. He did it, you know? So, hey. nigga, when you get in trouble, we done already saw a thousand episodes of First 48. Yeah. What do the, who do they first person they call when they want you to tell? Your mama? Mm -hmm. Your mama come in that interrogation room and she sit down with you and she say, son, tell these people the truth now. Mm -hmm. We was made to believe that the truth will set you free. Most of us, when we start getting in trouble with the law, we're so young in age, we don't have a concrete belief system to stand on, not to tell it. Right. 90% of cases are plea bargain. Right. Very true. So that means if 90% of cases are plea bargain, then that means more people are snitching and cooperating, just telling on themselves. Mm -hmm. Very true. So we have to shatter this myth that, nah, homie, everybody tell it. Everybody snitch. That's bullshit, homie. We don't, why you think when the feds come get everybody in Dallas, they get everybody? Why you think they come to Fort Worth? They get everybody. Why you think when they get everybody, they get everybody? Because nigga, everybody tell it. But they want the kids to believe that these niggas is standing on this no stinching rule and they getting life without parole and they ain't saying nothing. Yeah, no, nah, they ain't doing that. We, we, we gotta be honest, homie. Uh, uh, nobody's standing on street codes no more. So it's easy to convince them uh, of, 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 of what we all know is uh, nature's first rule of law is self-preservation. Self Do you believe in um, involuntary snitching? Uh, you mentioned Spud Boom to where he he did it. Yeah, hell work. yeah, he did some yeah, bullshit. Yeah, like he, he said, he said yeah. that the police were smarter, they were smart the way they was asking the questions. That Man, he told on the Domingo over here didn't even have nothing to do with it. Everybody know that. They say, say, man, listen, now, Spud Boom, we want to talk to you about it credit card fraud. But we were going out there to buy the weed over there with that nigga, and he had plenty of weed now. But you know, said, but no, Spuddy, we don't want to talk about that. No, but we but we, we were going to do the call. That's what he did. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah, just put your man in. The way they asked the questions, it was. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, but, but, well, that's, uh, they call that dry snitch. Mm. Uh, 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 your, your lawyer called that volunteering information. Why are you volunteering information? That was the lawyer right. called. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? So, but that's a nigga who don't know about being in trouble. 
Mm. It ain't never good to talk no way. That's why it's a reason exactly. I say you got a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. The reason why your greatest defense is your silence. That the fuck up. That's your greatest defense. I don't answer is your questions. Silence. Man, that's real. That's real. Now I want to ask you. Um, since your your claim to fame, um, how has it been for you as far as just adjusting to people knowing your name, people knowing your face. How has it been for you just moving through, the, uh, just just through our society right now? Uh, right. Yeah, I'm just starting to realize I'm a, I'm a, I'm the big shit now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no. Uh, well, you know a nigga pussy rate go up. Yeah, uh, that's really, that's yeah. Really yeah. Uh, 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 just, just, uh, very popular. Uh, I can be sitting in my car, homie. Uh, Very popular. And I can't see nothing from her on over her. And I be fucking with my phone. And I hear a nigga say, Charleston White. I say, I don't mm-hmm. think die. Because I can't see him over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't, all I hear a nigga just say, oh, Charleston White. I say, oh, man, nigga got caught me slipping. You know what I'm saying? So, but he be, he be a fan. He be a fan. But in exactly. my mind, Man, how this nigga recognize me? I'm sitting in my car. How he's how? What about my head? What what what's standing out about me? So uh, that's what's getting me now. Home, how they recognize me so quickly? Uh, so okay. yeah. Uh, but I ain't met nobody that's mad at me yet, homie. So you haven't been approached by any crips or? Oh uh, no. Oh, uh, uh, man, I, I was in I was in North Carolina in Greenville, North Carolina, with a guy by the name of Quasimoto, a rapping nigga who tricked me to come down there to an awards. And, and it was a wonderful event. Quasimoto, uh, Quasi got you. The hood. And uh, I that met this nigga who weird. had just come home from prison. Uh, he was like an alien. He didn't have a social media platform. He didn't have YouTube, no nothing. And he was real grimy looking, New York kind of grimy. You know, a hey, son, you know, uh, and I'm checking him out, and, and you know I'm, I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing what I need to see, right? Uh, the, the 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 other little niggas with him, nigga in the wheelchair, they they in front of a bando, uh, you know, a, a, a burn up house, and uh, I put him on my YouTube channel. He started rapping, so uh, he got like five, six, seven thousand views. In like mm. a of minutes. And so before he, he ended, mm. I told him, say, man, how can they find you? They want to rap. So he put his number out there. So when he hung up, when I, when I ended the YouTube, somebody called his line and said, hey, yo, uh, homie said, fuck Bloods. Damn. And he said, fuck Nipsey Hussle. So this guy name is Flames. Blood nigga, right? So uh, he said, hey, yo. Let me holler at you for a minute. So we kind of walk off a little bit. And he said, uh, hey, yo, you said fuck blood? I said, yeah. Yeah. He said, you said fuck Nipsey Hustle? I said, yeah. He said, hey, yo, I'm a, I'm a blood. Yeah, I'm a blood, yeah. yo, somebody just. So I tap him, hit him in the stomach, tap him like that. And I said, uh, what, what's your real name, homie? He said, Larry. I said, keep rapping, Flames. You might get Larry out the streets and walked off. He stood there days. Hey. I had another encounter. Uh, we still talk right to this day. Uh, I'm actually having him come down here uh, because the nigga rap so raw, uh, uh, he been getting all kind of offers and calls. Right. So, uh, he a manager now. He gonna come down here. Uh, so I can interview him and tell the experience that how, how he and I met. Uh, so I go to I, I go to my one of my little favorite little strip clubs. And, uh, I need to get me a favorite little strip club. This nigga who I've been this, this nigga who uh, he a killer. Everybody know him in the city. Uh, but I say his name a lot, fucking with him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> and so uh, me and the nigga encounter each other one night. Uh, and he wants to fight. He won't just squabble, or he act like he did. He could have, but he didn't. Uh, he want me to leave him alone. He, he want me to leave him alone. Leave That's me. it. Quit leave me alone, nigga. I ain't fucking with you. 
uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about, Nick. Yeah, I'm being the dickhead. Uh, <laughs> you know? uh, but I know I'm wrong. Uh, but other than that, no, nah, homie. It looked like people would believe I need security. Uh, they would, man, they would, people think, man, homie, I travel everywhere by myself. I travel everywhere by myself, homie. Uh, I got a lot of hate online. But, but not in I, real life. I haven't done anything to anybody where they really that convicted where when they see me, they'll hurt me. I ain't done, it's some niggas done really done something to some people that they need to be hurt. That's so, facts. Yeah, yeah, it's just, I'm saying some shit that evokes a emotion. I ain't done nothing to cause no reactions. There you go. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Uh, you know, we want to address uh, just some things that's, you know, kind of been going on. Uh, for one, yeah. Uh, I see WAC 100 want to cancel you. All right, we'll get back to that in a second. Hold on, I got some better shit. Hold on, let's see what uh, Anton Daniels and motherfucking uh, Charleston White up to. It's true, but it's just it's funny and it's wild at the same time, bro. Because you already know, because if a dude get in his emotions, you know he got that, he got well, that hole in him. Well, in my mind, and it's not it's not emotions, right? I don't have no problems with because everybody got emotions. Yeah, if you if you're in your emotion about something that don't affect you, you Correct. got that hole in you, right? <laughs> because that's typically women. Women are in their emotion about things that don't affect them. Right. Yeah, her friends, friends, dog died and, and, and someone ran off with the goldfish. They, they are, they're in tune with their feelings. Yeah. Because they feel uh, <laughs> we're analytic. We supposed to be. We're data, homie. We supposed to be. We're supposed to be. Not, well, uh, that ain't the good. The dudes that I see is not that. Because uh, I expect for you to have an emotion, but I don't expect well, for you to crash the, out. Because it's something that yeah, ain't got nothing to do I with bet, you. Yeah. I think there's been a mutation. And what way? Oh, uh, that's better. In the in, in the <laughs> DNA makeup of the male. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a mutant. I think this mother today is a mutant. Oh, uh, <laughs> with dominant female traits and tendencies. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's why. The violence, the gun violence in America, the, the domestic violence exactly. in, in America, uh, is 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 exploding. Is, yeah, uh, people quietly ignore domestic violence after the pandemic. Uh, man, it's it's, it's quadruple because of the mutated, uh, feminized male. Mm -hmm. It's like two girls fighting. They real Damn. violent and vicious compared to two boys. Two girls fighting is, is, is real. We go. Yeah, it's, I agree with yeah. that. Yeah. It's so. Now it's like two girls fighting. That's why it's so brutal now. Hmm. Domestic yeah, violence like have bitch. always been brutal. Uh, but what we're seeing now today, homie, we, we, this is some new. Seems like the that girls is. is getting more masculine yeah. and the guys is getting more feminine. Mutation. Oh. Uh, that's scary. That's crazy. That's actually Damn. pretty scary, bro. <laughs> because then, how are our households uh, and our communities gonna be led? Uh, China go tell us what to do, mm. right? Yeah, China go govern us. But then we got the whole—I don't know, man. Because we got the whole banking system collapse happening right now. I saw that with the right. Silicon Valley Bank and all of this other type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, all those guys. Millennial, your boy, they sure had a lot of faith in those guys, didn't they, for a while? <laughs> all the tech companies and oh, stuff like that? Oh, man, they had yeah. a lot of faith. And the boy, they been up to all them young motherfuckers, been up to a party and getting high. Mm. Uh, that's <laughs> Sodom and Gomorrah. What is? Uh, Silicon Valley. Is it? Uh, if you let me tell it. Uh, th th right. Those are the richest. I mean, you got to be rich to live there. Yeah. Uh, that's, they, that's, 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 that's. Beverly Hills on steroids, supposedly. Mm. Uh, that's the Hamptons times ten. Yeah. Uh, that's Calabasas times time a thousand. Silicon Valley. How that banking system feel? Uh, no, man. Well, I know that that uh, I mean, in like 2016, the Federal Reserve 
told all banks that they don't have to keep a minimum amount of money in there anymore. So any bank can fail because if they do a bank run, which means everybody goes and tries to take out their money because they're scared for whatever reason, <clears throat> most banks won't have enough money to give up a lot of people, especially rich people in Silicon Valley coming in asking for 10 million, 5 million, 8 million at a time. But uh, yeah, most banks, I mean, all banks now, I can't, I don't have the paperwork right now, but I'll pull it up later. In 2016, the Federal Reserve gave every bank the obligation or the leeway to not have any reserve funds. They can have fictitious reserves is what they call them. But back to let's go with Charleston White. Silicon Valley banks? Oh, you know they. You know where they say they all moving to, right? Where? Austin? Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they say that all of the uh, all of those guys that's in Silicon Valley, they they they're moving to Austin now. I, I can yeah. see it. Uh, for what though? Because you know that's where they uh, building all of the semiconductor chip companies, and yep. Tesla is opening up their new headquarters down there, and Google's there. So yeah, yep. Uh, so everybody moving to Texas, down Google. in Austin. Google, shout out uh, Google. Or all of the Give Silicon money, Valley Google. people. They say it's New Yorkers that had that Wall Street dudes. And and the tech guys is all moving on. Yeah, I've been here in New York and California. The tech guys, so I'm, I'm moving to Cal- I'm moving to uh, Texas too. Told you they're gonna they're gonna try to change Texas into California. See, I'm going up to Detroit. Fuck it. <laughs> he said he's gonna stay with. Yeah, 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 I'm going back to Motown. <laughs> they mm-hmm. coming for y'all. See. Yeah, yeah. Now, man. Uh, they won't That's like funny. it in my area. Uh, so I'm sure they'll go that way. Yeah. Yeah. That Fort Worth. That Fort Worth. Mother- it's one of the largest conservative voting blocks in the in, in the nation. So, what happens when they start to uh, encroach? And as you know, California was always bad, but it wasn't like it is today. You know, it's crazy now. Uh, our, our, our politicians' biggest fear uh, right now is Texas going blue. Yeah, it's purple right now. Uh, yeah, their biggest fear is going blue. And and uh, when they do, we're in trouble. That's a cool ass picture. I wish they had. Oh, there goes the full version. Yeah, when we do, we're in trouble. Uh, it's a lot of opportunities here. Uh, Silicon Valley, them coming here, but uh, it's a lot of opportunities here, man. A lot. It's a lot of money in Texas, man. It's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money in Texas. A lot of resources. Gorilla, uh, shout out Frank Gorilla. I didn't even realize for no specific reason, but yeah, shout out Frank Gorilla. That's how big the state was, bro. It's his own country. Yeah, uh, it's an oil state too. Uh, I think we got what, uh, like one of the ninth largest economies. Yeah, uh, yeah, we compete in economy wise to the in the world. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's his own. It's his own country. Yeah. Uh. And it's not even do it's still underdeveloped. I know. It's still un- man, this place is still underdeveloped. I got a lot of land here, a lot of Even if land. you drive around the areas and the suburbs and the Dallas and the Fort Worth area, it's like it's funny because me and Rita was driving, um, obviously from the airport and we was like, Man, it's just so much opportunity still here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that yeah. as developed as it is, it's still not even fully, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even hit its stride here. It's pretty man, crazy. You, I like Dallas. Uh, I, I I love it here too. Uh, Y'all got some of the best views from these rooftops, baby. Yeah, yeah, I love it here too. Uh, at times I I, I want to leave. Do you? Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, I want to see something new. Hmm. Now, I love the weather. I love the weather conditions here. Uh, we really don't have cold, cold summers. Mm-hmm. I mean, winters. We have hot, hot summers, and I love heat. Yeah, I'm yeah. a summer baby. Uh, and then it's an entertainment city, so it's always something to do here. Mm-hmm. There's always something to do. Yeah, I love it here. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, outside of Miami, I go and visit Miami a lot, and then, I, you know, I love Detroit, cause so I'm always going to be in Detroit. Um, but let me ask you another question. Let me pivot for a minute. From an entertainment perspective and from a comedy perspective, you continuing to grow and you getting bigger. Yeah. 
right? right? And you evolve in and you continue on a tour and you learn in a game or whatever like that. Do you think that other comedians fear people like you that, right. you know, come from the internet, right? I think so. Oh. Because they, they made their bones and they got their chops. They had to do it the other way. The the, the going through the, uh, uh, doing the comedy show, yeah, and the circuit uh, and yeah. all of that other type of Chilling stuff. But circuit. then you kind of built up your own following. You kind of remind me, obviously, differently than like a Drewski and all of yeah. that. And that your following is organic. Yeah. Do you think that the tr the traditional com comedians fear people like you? Uh, they like the old talking about the skinny, uh, the young skinny jeans. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> Not that they fear us. They doubt us. Hey, that one's okay. Wasn't the best, but hold on. Let's see what else I got. Do I want to watch? Oh, look at how this propaganda video starts. Hold on. Let's show you. This is a video about propaganda. Look at the title, right? It says, how to recognize propaganda, right? I guess that's what it says, right? How to recognize propaganda, yeah. All right. And look what it starts with. Look how it starts. Does that this mean? is the big picture. Does that remind you of anything? Yeah, let's, let's refresh your memory. How to recognize propaganda starts pretty never mind this is the big picture an official television report to the nation from the united states army now to show you part of the big picture here is sergeant stuart queen the film you are about to see was produced as a troop information film specially prepared to alert the american soldier against a hidden enemy an enemy that can destroy morale, rob the soldier of the will to fight, and even propaganda. trick him into surrendering. Enemy propaganda. Although this study of communist deception was made for a military audience, we think that you, the American public, will also find it pertinent and enlightening. In the words of an American hero, Patrick Henry, the gentleman cried, peace, peace, but there is no peace. Right. And today, America cries, peace, peace, to further the blessings of peace, to ensure peace. America today sends to every nation in her imperialist orbit the implement of peace, ammunition. Right, yeah, bayonets, hand, hand grenades, grenades, machine, machine guns, guns, bombing planes, fighter planes, planes and, and now even atomic cannon. The gentlemen from America may call that peace, but I have another word for it. I call it war. I call it America's part of the plan to enslave the world. Ah, uh, they got fake audio. Let no one be deceived by the American style peace. Let no one be deceived. That's what the man said. I don't think you need three guesses to know what this is all about. But let's listen a moment longer and see what's behind it. Peace is a word that sends cold shivers down the spines of American capitalists. Peace is what the whole world yearns for, prays for, longs for. Right. But on Wall Street, it is a word that spells ruin. I say let the American warmongers beware. The people want peace. And we are the voice of the people. That was the voice of the Kremlin or rather one of its voices, there are lots of them around the world speaking in every language. We do the same thing. Now this material is just another sample of what you might call the communist war 
without guns. Oh, the Cold War. And this is some of their ammunition. Like, yeah. Fake photos. Early Photoshop and compositing. Hey, a skull. You always see it. back to this one i like this one but we'll get back to it in a second let me see i wanted to see this one because when you left she was nine months old oh yeah shout out anton daniels one more time you know what i'm saying she was mm. 18 she was 18 months old when i left she was nine months when she, i left she was nine months she was nine months when I left. so i said man kalani got to the mama say i know i'm the one got a bottle bro i knew right then that i had to get me together Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm And I got to see in 2001. I, ain't been, I didn't go back to see it. Then again, I did a bunch of seesawing where I was struggling on clothes custody, couldn't make it out clothes custody. You know what I'm saying? That's like I can't get out of uh, in-school suspension. Mm hmm mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he's so, been in-school suspension. He can't get out. Because, I, I, you know, I, I got, I say I'm a dying in penitentiary. But if once now I think about it, I didn't want to die in the penitentiary because I was fighting to get me together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I made my mind up. I said, man, mama knew coming down here. He driving all over Texas. Come visit me. I said, man, I can't have these folks come see me and see. I said, man, I got to get in contact with you. So one day, I'm going to close custody. But I'm not in this cage no more getting, getting seen. I'm out, but it's not on contact. It's the window pan. So I can't stream on so TikTok. I'm still bought, banned. What, some, I'm still banned until May 3rd. Fuck TikTok. But if come roll with her, I used to be notorious for getting somebody to ride with mom because I didn't like her riding on the freeway by herself. Mm -hmm. So they get the contact visits. So mama say, why I can't get no bit like that? They even hug. They, my mama, she getting hugged. They come around, they get my, hey, Miss White, how you doing, hug my mama? So mom say, son, why I can't get no hug? They let y'all get hugged? Mm -hmm. I said, mom, you know they let us get hugged. Well, why I can't get no hug? They got my little sister talking about, why I can't touch you? You know what I'm saying? But she was a little girl, so mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, man. So it went for mama, stop. Give me and stop making advice to me, making suggestions to me. To my sister, she started. Why? I'm thinking. I said, man, Mama put Kalana up to. I said, man, I don't, I'm still trying to block it out. But at the same time, it's my little sister. Now it went from Mama to little sister. So now I'm really am see song. I'm sure I'm wrestling with myself. You know what I'm saying? Because. I'm trying to do what's right by both of my girls. But then I'm in prison. It ain't no such thing doing what's right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, you, know <laughs> you, you know, you got to be an animal, man. You got to be. You got to do the things that you wouldn't normally do that. Like, if a dude come slight you over here right now, you go, man, it's, he don't even know what he's dealing with. I'm going to go on and go over here, man. Me and wife, I'm going to go, man. Mm -hmm. And trip it. But in prison, you say trip and you walk away. That's when the wolves at you. Exactly. They ain't gonna be just nipping at you either. Hey man, I ain't never in 31 years, I never had nothing took from me. I never had nothing stole from me. As a matter of fact, I had to sell it. That when I used to come to this house, come to the cell, I had $30. He used to put $30 on the wall. I thought it was some of my homeboys doing it. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, I had them selling stuff for me. So I was like, okay, man, my homeboy did So I used to take it, just put it up on the bar, take it, put it up on the bar. So one day I said, man, I'm going to ask my partner, I'm no, man, I, no, man, you know, we putting that up in ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So I said, man, I thought y'all, I said, man, I ain't going to work today. I'm going to stay at the house. So I said, 
But well, matter of fact, I did go to work. I come back home to the cell early. It's slow and behold, it comes here back sitting on my it. ball. So now my partner, they know I'm on the way, so they come in. So I said, say, man, my cell, he come in from church. He was a Christian dude at San Antonio. I said, say, man, you said that you've been putting that comments here on, on my bump. He started smiling. He said, I wonder when you're going to figure it out. I said, man, I don't need that. He said, I do, but I appreciate you. I said, what you mean? He said, man, I ain't had nobody take nothing from me. I ain't had nobody come steal nothing from me. He said, mm. I go to the commissary, I could get what I want. He said, man, dudes come speak to me and make sure that I'm not being bothered because of you. I said, man, you tripping. So this is where the change started coming. 2010, this is where the change started coming, bro. With that me, I come back. I'm in the cell. I'm smoking weed. Mm -hmm. I get a lay in. Like one o'clock in the morning, I get a lay in. Say Kairos. I say Kairos. I said, man, that's for church folks. I said, no, nah, man. I said, man, they gave you the wrong. But my name on it. This is how messed up I am in the head at this time. It got my name, my TDC number on the lay in. I'm talking about this is the wrong person. Hmm. I said, no, nah, man. At the same time, my silly sit down there on the bunk just laughing. So I said, man, what Kairos? I said, Silas, you got a Kairos? He said, you got one too, didn't you? I said, yeah, man, but you, he said, yeah. I put you in for it. So said, Sally put you in for it? He put me in for it. He played the organ in the church. Hmm. He, he, he the church man. So I said, man, what you put me in? I don't need to go up and I ain't going to play with God like that. Mm -hmm. He said, man, you can't just go on and go. They feed good. I said, oh, they feed good? <laughs> he said, yeah, right. man, you eat all type of free world food, man. You go be so much that, man, you can eat as much as you want. So I said, okay. So it started Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days. So the thing about it is, you got to convince these folks to accept you. And the, and the... And Cairo, it's, it's go to, they interview you. Mm. So I go down there. So the man, I see the dude up and down. So I ain't got time to mess with no preacher dude. That's one thing. I, when I made my mind up prayer, I said, man, that religion's in prison. I ain't finna get involved here. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I, the dude, for all the cases, said, hey, how you doing, Brother White? I said, man, I ain't your brother. Just from the get go. From the get go. All right. So he said, he shook his head, started laughing. I said, well, how you, what you want to be called? I said, bro, well, okay. Why? He said, well, what if I just call you, kid? I said, bro, I just told you, you asked what I want to be called, man. So he said, okay, then, K White. So I said, man, what's up? I said, man, I don't even know why I'm here. He said, you can leave if you want to. I left. <laughs> All right. I got up and left. And I swooped down, Mr. Williams. He walked down the hall, he said, he said, K White, man, you come on bring your behind back up in this church house. I said, man, I ain't got time to play. He said, come on, man, they finna get ready to feed. Mm -hmm. So he said, man, you don't want that child hall food, man. Come get you something to eat right now. So I turned around. <laughs> now he's talking about they got these these fajitas, steak fajitas. Yeah, that's why a lot of Go to Cairo's, yes, he yeah, ain't yeah, going for God. Yeah, they don't care about God. So I said, okay, I go back. Exactly. I get the fajitas. I eat. So for the case, you go here. K White, how the fajitas taste? They good? I'm like, yeah, man, it's pretty good. It's okay, then. He said, I heard you pretty popular around here. Everybody know you. I said, yeah, what, man? Everybody know you for the case. He said, man, you know, we're going to have a faith-based program coming up, and, you know, I'd like to get you up. And I said, man, you, I, I said, no, nah, man. He said, okay. So we left. I don't go back for the next three days. Mm -hmm. But guess who got accepted in Cairo? Mm -hmm. I got accepted. I went there one day, and then go back for the next three days. And he accepted. And guess what I wrote and told him? I was excited that I got accepted in Cairo. My mama.
I knew he was gonna get shot too, that's why I stayed out the truck. All right, hold on, let me. Fucking hiding behind the truck. Oh, it's a tanker, fuck that. Snipers, bro. Freak up out of there. Do not come to me. Damn. I got ran over. Fuck. Almost fucking did it. Should have just fucking threw the C4 instead of trying to latch on to him. That's crazy. The hostiles have spent half their resources. Holy shit. Let me out this motherfucker, bro. Holy shit. Support package on your request. Yeah. 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 I couldn't get him. I knew he was gonna sort of switch guns. Fuck. <laughs> as soon as I got up. We have secured Charlie sector. Got me a motherfucker as soon as I got up. We have total control of all sectors. We have total control of all sectors. Almost all sectors. We gotta get A1 still. Objective mark, move in! We are monitoring your progress. Need some armor delivered on this mark. Fuck, I pressed that way too soon. They didn't even give me that kill for trying to run that guy over either. It's crazy. They starting over here now? Fuck it, I don't care. Just keep going back towards there. Actually, 
targets left. Engage targets at that objective. Along this watch. Enemy device, mark! 150 meters! Oh. Damn, that shit jerked my. That's crazy. That shit jerked my camera. What I with the lock? Shit jerked it way to the right. A one is crazy now. There we go. Drop me in. Fuck. Oh, drop me in. I ain't even dropping just yet. Yeah, Somebody was shooting me in the back. Somebody get that bitch ass motherfucker. He killed me. Damn, they keep getting A. We just gonna fight over A. Fuck it. I was doing good too. Still doing okay, but. Do this one. They want somebody drop some shit from the air. Already fucking hacked. Can you believe that shit? Should have let him jump the wall and then I could have got him while he was in animation instead of putting myself back in the animation trying to jump back over the wall. But, you know, I thought I was good enough to get it. We're just gonna keep going to A, shit. Yeah, until we get that bitch. Cause this is our spawn area, they can't get A1. See him right there, that's crazy. get away! God 
God damn, how did I fucking miss the kill shot? That's crazy. My dog got some niggas. They got a beacon over here somewhere, I'm sure. Up we go. Where's that fucking beacon? Damn, it's in there. The beacon's in there behind the door. That's it, senor. Now they won't just be popping up back there no more. They done blew up everything over here, shit. <laughs> Might as well go to C1, huh? Ah, it don't matter, we won. That's a good one. Hey, real tone, it's the real money in the room. You are now tuned into the Bob Report. Speaking on Charleston White, uh, he recently fired his publicist for posting his, his side piece. Right. That's you know, funny. Uh, it, it hit the internet. Right. She gets fired. Uh, I don't know if she was looking for the wife to divorce Charleston or whatever, but the wife then comes on the internet with Charleston and defends him. I mean... What you think about it? Make it make sense for me. Make it make sense. The pimping ain't easy. What the pimping ain't supposed easy. To do? Stay in your place. <laughs> you understand me? What? You ain't hurry up and get the mic. I, don't, I, I ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to pimp. I'm going to play the back row. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Open your mouth and say something. You told the post the side people, what are you doing sitting down? Get your out there in the street and go to work. Out on the sidewalk in the street. Stop a car. You hear me? Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, you sitting there you let this post the side piece. Baby, you over but one thing, if I'm pimping you, I got low self-esteem. I'm gonna put you in any car I want you in. Doing the driving, I don't gotta do no talking. I gotta do the talking for me. You hear me? That's what she's supposed to do. Get your weak-looking ass in front of the camera and say something. <laughs> Hello. I ain't saying nothing. I'm gonna sit back in the car and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk bad about your until you get some self-esteem about yourself. Until you find you. Until you find how little you look on the internet. Yeah, stupid. Look at this stupid. <laughs> that's how a real pimp Charles got him one. That's how I'm supposed to do you in the stable. That's what your job is to work. You understand me? That's why we keep no mules in the stable. All stallions. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, no mules in the stable. All stallions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, 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 I salute his pimping. Hello. Hey. With a couple. <laughs> I salute that, his pimping. That says a lot coming from you. But I'm just saying, though, you gotta call a cat a cat a dog a dog. You want me to say you want me to be like them? Nah. And, and, and talk down on trying to be a cat? <laughs> Knowing he a dog? <laughs> a dog trying to be a, you know, that type of shit. I'm gonna call things like I see it. I mean, I ain't giving a solution, but I'm just telling you, say, uh, uh, you slipping in your pimping. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your, you know, you got trash around you, that means you got a mule in the stable. Supposed to have all stallions, nothing but dimes. I got, a, I got a pocket full of dimes. And all of them fine. You hear me? But when your money gone, yeah. <laughs> you be the fuck on with it. You hear me? <laughs> Hello! Yeah, catch Char that. Charleston, uh, he, 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 he hires and fires a lot of a lot of people, man. Uh, well, you know, they know that when they get there, you gotta do. get on the job, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> do what I tell you to do. Charleston got an ego. If you're gonna work for him, work for him, not against him. You understand me? That, that's that's with any mother. That's why I shout out to me, you, and in, in tune, man. Bob, Bob, Percy, in tune, man. We the circle. We don't talk sure. around. We don't want no squirrels and can't no. You can't fit a guy squirrel in the circle, y'all. Some of these them little kids at the daycare are still trying to knock exactly. the little guy because that don't go in there. <laughs> Twenty years old still. 
trying to put a circle in the square. You dig what I'm saying? But now, uh, Charles to choose his employees very good. You know how the guy, I said Charles, and they came up to eyeball. Eyeball was the only mother uh, I'll do in the fine. No, eyeball, I, eyeball, you know, do, no, eyeball, that's the only part eyeball do. Charles will see good, good in people, so he give him a chance. Eyeball, I'm over. <laughs> Every time right. you get a chance, wait till this do something. Eyeball, always watching for the bull. Charles, he gonna hire you. He gonna give you a chance for a black person to make something in the community, give you a chance, you know, you, you some, if he hired you somewhere down the line, you showed him that day you were worth something. Tomorrow, you ain't worth shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Know that. Um, that's that's a um, that's a um, that's a medicine they had to come out with Charleston name on. He got the Charleston. Now some people got you know ADHD. Some, now they gonna have to have they gonna have a CH something. You hear? You know what I'm saying? Gonna come out and they are gonna have a guy appear harder than Ritalin, Sterzine, and and um, Seroquel oh, mixed together. Seroquel. Calm the motherfucker down, cause one day if you one way one day and you a next you wake up the next day. You know, they got medicine for that. You hear me? And they gonna tell you that. But um, nah, I don't, you know, people know who they working for. People know who they working for. They didn't sit there and watch all the interviews this man do. And for you sit there and go get a job for the man, <laughs> you already know how the he expect from you. Exactly. You understand me? So, um. Do you think everybody is stealing from him? Or scamming him like he, like he said? Well, you yeah, know, everybody ain't smart in everything that they doing. You just might be smart in talking on her, but you ain't smart with the business. If you don't catch up with the business, everybody gonna run a tornado around your mother who wouldn't. Next up to grab. See, when I think exactly. motherfuckers used to sit around me and think, well, then know, uh, we doing this, man. Person, know everything every motherfucker doing. Oh, yeah. I don't shout say out that. I said my price. You don't shout out real tune and OG person, too. Don't you stick to my price? I want you to what you make on the side. You deserve something. You helping me out. I ain't pay for this. <laughs> I ain't pay for this light cameras and action, goddamn. Somebody did, though. I ain't edited the motherfucking thing. I ain't take no time out to do this, do that, or punch nothing up, but somebody doing it. So when I ask for my price and you give me my, what you make on the side, you deserve it. I gotta pay, pay my employees too. Hello! Right. <laughs> Look at uh, that part. Cause when you know something is going, you see something good going, don't fuck over. You dig what I'm saying? When you see it, something rolling, let it roll. You understand me? If you, it's something fucked up by the fire, that shit. Yeah. Me, Bob, me, Bob, and Toon, we didn't all been in a circle before and we didn't been outside the circle before. But we came back into a circle cause that's how we started. When mm -hmm. some start good, it'll end good. Some start fucked up, believe me, it's gonna end up fucked up. A lot of you niggas get married to the fucked up. You started fucked up, creeping and sneaking. Next thing you know, you get married to the Then next thing you know, you're married in love a couple years ago by now, it's fucked up with y'all too. Now it's all fucked up. Know why? Because it started fucked up. You met the motherfucker at the club, you met her cheating. Then you married mm -hmm. to this Then you get cheated on, then you think something's supposed to change. Well, exactly. believe me, that's how marriages go. You start them they gonna end up if you start them off right there, end right. Dig what I'm saying? That's the same thing with life. You dig what I'm saying? Anything you get your mother self into. That's why you know you, you know how to start. <clears throat> it's gonna it's gonna end the same motherfucking way. You hear me? Uh, shout out OG Percy in real tune. I'ma take like a five minute break. Uh, but I'll be right back. So uh, you know. Get something to eat, smoke, do whatever you're gonna do for like five minutes, maybe less. You know what I'm saying?
bitches low. Yo, no regular. Baby, you ain't talking about no money, what you talking about? We just throw the money up in the air, cause we don't care I about it. I run the billy in the club, cause when I'm near, people worry about it. I tell the bitch, put the strap in your purse if you care about it. DJ Dollar said he ready for the function, finna pick him up. Got some new sleeves, I got some backwoods, it's time to fill him up. All kind of flavors, smoking rainbow and pink runs. I just post purple in my cup, now I'm geeked up. But really, all I need is Mary Jane, we be booed up. Told her if you got Megan needs, let me see something. Hold on, let me turn the beat down so I can hear something. Damn. I don't hear nothing. We got Babs on the beat, got the shit jumping. Like the police at the door, so we can keep clubbing. And I got the work in the club, got fiends coming. Tried to throw some ones in the air, I threw all honey. Turned on all the lights in this bitch, all the hoes up. You was dancing with a dirty feet bitch and her friend much. And them niggas got ghosts real quick, that was mean much. Turn the lights back off in this bitch, we continue clubbing. I told her mama, throw that little shit, she gon' turn around. I ain't have to do a little dancey dance, I just look and smile. I get some emotion, little nigga, we ain't standing around. I don't wanna pick up a little eighth, I want the whole pound. Gang just got a bottle of Henny. Smoking exotic rhymes, stop the canes on the way, cause I ain't a shit for lunch. Hey, gang, you hear talk a lot of shit, leaving untouched. Got exclusive access in the party, got blick tuck. Shawty throwing ass in the party, I'm pulling braids out. I smoke clock, clock to the face, don't put it out. Baby, let me see, drop, drop, baby, gon' spin around. She gon' crop top, and bottom her titties out. Take a little break, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what else we can start. Okay, let's finish with this. I'm Colonel Foster. I'm going to be your guide for a short tour through the maze of communist propaganda. It's a strange, shadowy world of the doctor photograph. The misquotation, the insinuation, and the lie. Now, some of this material to us is comical. Some of it is tragic. Some of it's weird. Some of it's dull. But all of it has the single purpose of digging the grave of liberty. The grave diggers of communism have been trying to set America up for the kill for years. And it makes them very angry that we don't just collapse as per schedule. That was a cut. The living conditions of the American masses, that's you, are swiftly deteriorating. Our generation is going through the final convulsions of the dying world of capitalism. That's what it says here. And if you don't believe that pamphlet, try this. <laughs> Bankrupt America may have one more war in its decaying carcass, but her young men who face nothing but brute labor poverty and death may refuse to fight. That's what it says here. If you're assigned to duty overseas, you may see posters like this once in a while. That's you, in case you don't recognize yourself. Of course, we get a, a big chuckle out of stuff like this, but the bigger the lie, the bigger the laugh. Okay. But the grave diggers aren't laughing. As noted. They're deadly serious. 
And in some places around the still free world, some people believe them. Like to know what they're saying about you and all American soldiers? Well, in England, the communists call you arrogant gum chewers. They tell the Japanese you're pleasure-loving, pampered, juvenile delinquents. For Italian ears, the communists call you black marketeers bent on looting Europe. Hey. For the Austrians, they call you uncultured young thugs. Ah, young thug. For the Soviet occupied Shout countries of Eastern thug. Europe, Free young they thug. say you are members of the gangster army of imperialist America. And to the people of Korea, the communists say you are cold-blooded murderers, tortured and shot and buried alive, thousands of innocent civilians. Right. Did you notice how the slander progressed from the gum chewers to juvenile delinquent to black marketeer to thug, gangster, murderer? Right. From you should be laughed at to you should be shot in just Damn. a few easy steps. Sound like the police. How's your sense of humor now? I imagine that all I of us gum chewing, like pampered this, so. gangster murderers know why we're being slandered. It's because America is the major obstacle that stands between the grave digger and his intended victim. Dun, dun, dun. It is target number one for the Reds. And who's in the bullseye? You are. Being in the bullseye, it's important to know something about the enemy's weapons and how to spoil their aim. That aim is nothing less than world conquest and subversion by every possible means is the chief method used. The key word is conflict. Outside of the red countries themselves, conflict must be promoted everywhere. Right. Every dissatisfaction must grow into a resentment. Every resentment must become an argument. Every argument must grow into a fight. Every fight must blossom into a riot. All right. Every riot must expand into a war. And every war Damn. must end in devastation. For there in the ruins, communism finds its chance. Oh, okay, I get For it. the communists, there must never be a compromise. Never a settlement of disputes. Only conflict. To Americans, none of it makes much sense. But wherever there is poverty, makes perfect sense unemployment, disillusionment, there is also despair. And where you there is despair, disillusionment? Because that's a part of alchemy. People may listen to anyone, to any plan that promises a change. In America, practically nobody listens. In all right. countries with stable government, civil liberties, and reasonable prosperity, Communism makes little or no headway. The red countries cannot stand comparison in the light of day. That's one reason for the Iron Curtain that stretches across Eastern Europe from the Baltic Sea to the Mediterranean. The barrier works two ways. It keeps free men from... Oh yeah, this is what I do with my spare time. ...seeing too much inside. And it keeps the slave world from glimpsing freedom. Back of that Iron Curtain is the biggest captive audience in the world. They don't have to sell them, just tell them. Damn. We'll stop it right there on that quote. I like that. They don't have to tell them. No, they don't have to sell them, just tell them. I, I like it. What's this one? Oh, yeah, let's see. Is, is he going to talk about it? or is? Oh, yeah, yeah, we already seen that one. All right. Already seen that one. That one's supposedly 24 hours. Let's check out what they talking about Disney real quick. Back here with D. Hi, everybody. Shout out the, uh, the Truth Is channel. Let's skip a little bit ahead. All Watching right. Disney's content, and it plays a big part in many kids' childhood. I remember being a kid watching Disney Channel every day. Millions Damn. of parents trust Disney to only provide kid-friendly content. I didn't watch Disney Channel as a kid every day had it only like channel two through 13 or something. So until we got like cable, but even then I didn't want to watch the Disney channel, but 
Some people, I guess, were pre-programmed by Disney. Mr. Walt, old good old Walt. Tend to their child audience. But what happens when Disney takes advantage of that trust parents have given and start pushing an agenda that only ruins children's minds? I have done videos on Disney in the past, and we spoke about its occult-driven content. Most of Disney's content is based on magical themes, introducing the idea that magic has two sides. I often right. see good people comment this on side. the channel, claiming that there's two sides of magic, good and bad, when this honestly isn't true. God stated that all magic is forbidden. So many people think there's two sides to magic because of Hollywood, as they want you to believe that that's the truth. Disney plays an important role in all of this, as they introduce the idea of magic into children's minds at a very young age. Disney pushes occult values to his viewers because it was created by an occultist. Like I've said before, Walt good Disney himself Walt. was a member of- Hey, good old Walt. He looks like my grandfather in some kind of way, you know. Of a Freemasonic organization called the Demolay Club for Boys. A Masonic club that prepares young boys to become Freemasons in adulthood. Masonry is all over Disney and is why all of its shows are about magic defeating evil as the Masons love to paint themselves as the good ones using magic. Disney had an entire show about masonry called Gravity Falls that aired for two seasons back in 2012. The show was about magic and rituals and it even displays a Freemason member in the show. Disney made this content to indoctrinate children into the occult life as young as possible, something that Disney is still doing to this day. I don't know if Disney only uses occultists as actors or they turn the actors into occultists, but I found right. this article that I thought was very interesting and it shows just what Disney is trying to do. Many of you should remember the mega Disney franchise High School Musical. High right. School Musical was one of Disney's most successful franchise ever. It made Disney over four I never watched this show, but it was popular, I guess. I think I seen the first movie, but never watched anything else other than that. And they were singing. I hate musicals. I hate when they fucking start singing, but whatever. Billion dollars over its lifespan. So many kids watched High School Musical and loved the main characters, Troy and Gabriella. Gabriella was played by the actress, Vanessa Hudgens, who had developed a massive child. I know who she is, but not from that shit. I didn't know she came from that show. The audience during her role as Gabriella. Now, years later, she had recently came out and stated something very concerning to me. Vanessa Hutchins claims that she is a witch and an occultist. She actually there made a whole documentary about her occult practices called Dead. I definitely didn't know anything about and how, that. In this documentary movie, she could be seen doing rituals and casting spells, all while trying to paint magic in a good light. In this interview, we can see Vanessa explaining her witch movie, doing her best to make it sound appealing and appear like a positive thing. Oh yeah, it's just a witch movie. You know, it's not scary or it's, it's not demonic. It's not whatever. Coming out as a witch? I mean, yes. Yeah. It's been such- Coming out as a witch? I mean, yes. Like, you know, time, I guess, you know, whatever. We're like, what kind of, this is crazy. 2023. Such a journey and I kind of had an awakening and had so many questions, was so curious. <laughs> it was very much on this idea of like a spiritual brigade. And I kind of wanted to figure out who they were specifically so I can be more intimate with them. Um, the fuck is she talking about? As you heard for yourself, she was excited to she talking about demons? To admit she was a witch who practices ritual magic. It is not a coincidence that Disney is all about magic, wizards, and spells, while the actors admit to really being witches in real life who practice ritual magic. In my opinion, the Do reason Vanessa will, was guess. even in Disney was because she was a part of the occult system. Remember, Walt Disney was born into Freemasonry. His father right. was a Mason. The Masons have both masonry for young boys and for young girls. For the boys is the Demole organization, and for the girls is the Rainbow Girls organization. Both are Masonic organization for children. I believe from these Masonic organization is where Disney picks their young actors and actresses. Disney has used Vanessa Maybe. Hudgens to shape many minds, and she's still being That's used true. for this many years later. Oh, Disney has always witch. tried to hide inappropriate adult themes in their top kids shows as well guiding kids to focus on things that only adults should be participating in. Recently, Disney released a movie that proves just that. They're trying to introduce kids and teens to things they shouldn't be thinking about. The movie is called Prom Pack. Prom Pack has made its rounds around the internet because of its uh -oh. several inappropriate scenes. 
The movie is about two high school friends who make a pact to go to prom together. Sounds like many other Disney movies, except for what happens in a few scenes that, that just happens. goes to show what values Disney is pumping out to their tween audience. In one scene of the movie, the male main character has a conversation with another boy at his job where the boy states something that almost doesn't seem real. I've kissed a girl before. Kissed? Ugh, are you nine? I'm talking about your P in a V. See that guy? What? His P has, has been in some V. That's crazy. Disney's talking about P and V's now. As you heard for yourself, with no hesitation, they put this in a Disney movie. A conversation about putting P and V was really had on a Disney movie. The That's movie crazy. is available on Disney Plus as well. Disney knew what they were doing, and it's the reason they made the movie PG-13 to hide their hands. They know they couldn't make it PG because of the content. There's also another scene that shows a bunch of teenagers drinking something only adults are allowed to drink. It clearly uh -oh. appears Disney no longer cares. They are putting their agenda right in the open. Disney has even aimed their agenda at the very young kids with their show Dino Ranch. Dino Ranch is an animated show for kids 8 and up. It's a kids show that kids consume on a daily basis. In one of the episodes called Adoptosaurus Rex, they introduce the children to a plot line about two dad dinosaurs wanting to raise a baby together. So the kids in the what? show help the dads get an egg. That's weird. Dino daddies. Clear as day, we see Disney pushing the little Nas X agenda directly to the kids, introducing topics to children they have no need learning about. A method right. of confusion, and it's honestly sad that many parents are happy about it. It's children crazy. do not need to be learning about genders or preferences at the age of eight. The show shouldn't be focused on something that only adults are concerned about. An eight-year-old isn't thinking about genders. They're thinking about playing Shouldn't and having be, fun. Those over at Disney want to push this agenda and normalize it. They have always wanted the minds of the children. We know that these occultists have been after the little ones the entire time. Damn. Disney even openly showed us this themselves in their movie Hocus Pocus, a movie about witches using children for ritual magic. Disney has yeah. been pushing this agenda for years, but it's only becoming more and more aggressive. Back in 2022, they introduced the first trans character in an episode of That Soul Raven's reboot called The Fierce Awakening. Disney was praised That's for this crazy. by many as they cheer for Disney's woke values. The thing is, again, woke these values. shows are what made for kids 8 and up, and it's supposed to be what shows about that? kids being kids. Why introduce these characters that are unnecessary to the plot? It's obvious what Disney is doing with its programming, pushing the Little Nas X agenda to the minds of growing kids, normalizing it as these will be the kids that lead the new world order. We the parents have to do our parts to stop this agenda. I have nothing against anyone's preference, as God tells us not to judge anyone, but I But then he's gonna judge, watch. Do 100% have a problem when this agenda is aimed at our growing children, who can be easily confused. These disturbing people are hiding behind wokeness, when in reality, they're trying to push people to become further asleep. They want to destroy the rules of life God created, and Damn, replace LeBron. them with Aleister Crowley's twisted ideology do without of will. do without will. All these disturbing values come directly from Crowley's Book of the Law. Crowley was the man who created the term love is love. As he would say, love is the law, love under will. Your will, not God's. This is the same twisted agenda that they're pushing through Disney, directly Lebron. to the minds of our children. Sadly, Disney has become the face of this agenda when it comes to the kids. They are changing their programming, adding it in their shows, adding it in their movies, and they're hoping to shape the minds of our kids. These are disturbing times because those who speak against it are the ones that are being seen as the enemy, when in reality, it's the ones that are pushing the agenda that is the problem. There is no reason for this content to be shown to children, and when I see it so openly, it just shows me how far they are along their plans. Disney has always been screen, pushing an agenda man. to the children. Before, it was just pushing magic and occultism and inviting XP. kids into the occult, but nowadays, they've shifted their agenda and are now pushing the little Nas X agenda directly to the kids. Yeah, this is really crazy. And especially yeah, considering the fact really that crazy. I grew up with friends that actually were not allowed to watch anything but Disney Channel because their parents were really convinced that Disney Channel was good. Channels like Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network were bad. And now that I think about it, you are 100% correct. This Disney's bad. Magic thing, they have been spreading this for a very long time. And it goes back further than just the newer movies that they made for us when we were teenagers like Twitches. It goes back to the princesses, the fairy tales alone. Every 
A magic. Every last single one of them have magic, and they make you feel like you need magic to have what you want. Not just that, Disney Channel's whole entire commercial break when they right. say, come back to Disney Channel, they're literally magic having one of their shit. Disney Channel celebrity stars use a wand. They're using a magical wand to make the Disney ID. Magic is Disney's it's message. Crazy. The magical right? kingdom, you know, even Mickey Mouse is it supposed is. to be magical, supposed to be happy, but that's just their way to indoctrinate children into thinking that magic is good. And now that they have gotten the trust of not just kids, but parents, they're slowly adding in this next agenda that they want to bring in, which I find beyond me because as a parent, there are certain things that I want my child to learn when I feel comfortable teaching them. I don't think they should okay. be learning these things. Don't from have them watching TV. Disney, obviously. They're not going to be sure because of the way it's being portrayed. There's just certain Jeez. things that we as adults should have conversations with our kids about that they should not be learning Jeez. at school or on the TV, nor less a cartoon channel. Definitely, but sadly, it's the oh, world that no, we're no. being pushed into. And like I said earlier, those who try to speak against it are the ones that are targeted and called crazy right. and, and are the ones that are looked at as the bad people. But in no, reality, no, no. this picture is funny. I don't know if y'all see this picture, but that shit is funny. It's Shannon Sharp's body with LeBron. That shit, uh, that shit caught me off guard. That's funny. I was expecting Shannon Sharp, but I look at this LeBron. We're just trying to protect our children. Right. Plans. They want to build a new world. They want to build a new world, is what he says. I don't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't know. Or maybe it's already here. Yeah. The fuck is that? Uh oh. Anyways, yeah, let me see my phone. Make sure. We'll get back to the video in a second. Hold on. And they see themselves as gods and gods that don't have any gender. Gods that can do whatever they want. Gods that do what thou will. That's what they want to push and they have succeeded. They have turned the world into accepting this and now they're coming after young children because children were the ones that were protected. The adults are forced to accept it, but now they're coming after the children so that the children are forced to accept it. We see how they're coming after them in school. Right. We see how they're coming after them in entertainment and it's because they know how important it is to shape the minds when they're still young. To shape these kids' minds when they're growing up and they're learning because it's easier to confuse them. It's easier to sway them a certain way. It's much easier to plant an idea in their minds. And that's exactly what they're doing with these shows. I don't know how many of you are, are aware of what's going on with Disney in Florida, but the whole situation that's happening with Disney in Florida is because Disney is standing strong trying to push their agenda while Florida passed some laws that would try to slow down this agenda. It's crazy to see just how many people are confused and manipulated into thinking that we're doing something positive by supporting Dang. this agenda. It's not. It's all over hip hop. It's all over the movies. It's all over kids shows now. Kids shows. That's crazy. Why do kids need to learn about two Don't dads or two moms or any of this? It's unnecessary and it's just going to confuse them. I understand that there's kids that are dealing with this at home and this is how they actually live. But at the end of the day, that's still a very low minority. There isn't that many kids that are experiencing this. And those kids that are should have this already explained to them by their own parents. Yeah, I don't think exactly. it needs to be explained to them in a TV show about dinosaurs and kids. I think you're 100% correct. And like the are trying to make these correct. kids be worried about adult activities. That that it's okay if you're this or you're okay if you're that. When kids don't think about that. What kids are thinking about is school and toys and all this stuff like we just mentioned. And that's Dang. sadly what's going on. There's going to be so much more shows pushing this agenda as more time hey, goes dude. by because no one is showing any resistance. No one is saying no. No one is standing up to them. And the, the ones that are are very few. So Low they battery. aren't really making any changes and they aren't Low stopping battery. anything because the majority of people are afraid to even speak up against it. And the ones that are pushing it are overpowering those that are not saying anything. You know, like I said at the beginning of this, this is all about will. They want you to do what thou will. They want you to live your will and be the ultimate form of your wills. You are whatever you do with thou will. Is that what they say? All right. You want to be it. It doesn't matter if it goes against anything, only if it makes you happy. If we think about it, that's an agenda that's been pushed through everything. They've been pushing this 
for the last 30 years, they've been trying to normalize everything that goes against God. And now they're making sure that the kids are going to grow up into this. The kids are going to look at this and think that if they're not participating in things like this, then there's something wrong with them because it's being promoted so much. It's being shown to so many minds. And at the end of the day, if we don't make a change, it's going to end so ugly. Well, I want to know what you guys think below. I want you guys to tell me how you feel about it. Uh, no. I don't answer questions. Hey, All right, let me see, see this video huge, real quick. Huge doors, big doors, big columns everywhere, big doors, big blocks of stone, big, big, huge building. I'm just going <laughs> to scroll to the photos. It's 70 photos in this video. Damn. It's very simple to do this via manually. Everything is done manually hmm? with the hammer and sizzle and the horse domes everywhere it's gonna keep on getting better and better on the outside and on the inside the you just you know if you don't like the white white federation before the world reset and the post-apocalypse of the previous centuries and the rena renaissance uh, renaissance after the world is destroyed well it's up to you to believe if this is the typical roman empire or greek empire or Tartaria, or in every country that's got all the divergence for the content. You be making cool shit, finding these pictures. Something I just added this from Dubai, or oh, actually from the Dubai? Emirates, and yeah. um, because um, it's cool, it's big, but this is way easier to build than this. I'll show you more designs of this, and then you can decide for yourself if the creator of these of these designs he just created this in his mind. Or he actually made the design by looking at what was in the real world. And then it's up to you to decide what happened in the real world. Um, a place to go because you're a sinner. You have to yell and scream and cry because they're supposed to be cathedrals and, and churches. I added this here because Libra. I don't know if it's typical photoshopped green screen photos. And that's the way how New York was built and Chicago and composite all the all the big cities or not i don't know it's composite this, these type of buildings which they don't exist anymore they're way easier to build right than the majestic stuff I'm, i've been showing you i'm not allowed to show the the stuff that happened in 2001 because it's not allowed so anyway hey uh, from the times of the man with a mustache that speaks german forbidden stuff but at least i can show you the building love and, dancing. You know, if you watch the tv series the man in the high castle from Amazon, that um, gives you more insight. It is, a, to, uh, it is a good TV show. If you haven't, if you're looking for something to watch, watch The Man on the High Castle, I think it's called, like he said. And uh, yeah, that's a good watch. A couple, I think it's two seasons maybe, but it's good, two or three. And of the heights, not too bad, huh? And yeah, go back to your domes. Typical. So look at the interior of these places. I wonder if there was a giant humanity or not. I'm just adding this here so you can have a feeling of the gigantic style. And again, I'm adding this as well because this style of construction, even though it looks so cool and amazing, it's way easier and cheaper to build than the stuff I've shown you in the previous videos, which is pretty much impossible to build today with our Supreme Technology. I wonder if this is a place where I have to go and yell and scream because I'm a sinner. Because, you know, everything is religion. Is this like the interior of the place where you have to yell and scream because you're a sinner? Hmm? I'm just saying, you know, like, that's the way we are being taught. Magnetron. Magnetron? I wonder, like, what if these are, this is like for electromagnetic energy or not. I don't know. Why is everything so gigantic and big? Doors, windows. Why is everything like this? Even in Asia, even in Europe, even in America, everything. I don't know. It's a good so question. Why is the interior of these places so huge? Um, and who built it? I don't know. Nobody knows. I'm going to show you more magnetrons. That's crazy. It's just like the magnetrons. They, once you understand the concept of energy, everything is so easy. Also some paintings. Because you know, if these paintings, they show you the real world from before, then the black and white designs white they share the same stuff look at this first of all gigantic second uh, again the same style first of all tops. gigantic power station or the place to yell and scream because you're a sinner um because everything is religion in the end right all the buildings are religious built in the dark ages 
in the Renaissance. I know, with huge entrance entrances, photos are telling you the stuff you should know. Other drawings and paintings showing the world in ruins, vegetation growing and with no control. We see this in the post-apocalypse movies, like The Last of Us, you know, the series made that after the video game. Something bad happened in the world and then vegetation grows everywhere. Look at the inside. And at the same time you go and cry because you have to wash your sins because this is the proper building. Um, to do that, I'm just saying the truth, you know, like that's what they teach us. Now we're in India. I'm going to show some India stuff. Yes, this is India. It's not America. It's not Europe. It's not Australia. It's not South America. It's not Africa. Where is it then, motherfucker? It's India. Oh, okay. So you decide. Mm -hmm. What do you want to believe? Lakshmi. Is it crazy? Lakshmi. This one. It looked crazy. India. Yeah, honestly. It's the British Empire. But then, before the British Empire existed, there was other empires. You also have like the Spanish Empire, and the Portuguese Empire, and the Chinese Empire, and the White Federation Empire, and the Scythian Empire, and the other Hyperborean Empires. I don't know. I'm just showing you stuff from India. And then you can combine it with the other stuff you see in the rest of the continents. Maybe even on other continents, like the ice wall. Antarctica, ice wall. which doesn't exist. But let's just enjoy a bit more. India, this is also India. That's if crazy. I didn't tell you it was India, you would say it was Germany. Or the USA. Or Russia. Hey. So, again, the, 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 the inside. Inside, you just it's like you scream and yell. Fortunately, this place is not religious. Uh, for residential purposes, so depends. Now this one is up to you. What do you want to consider about it? You know, this I is don't in know Asia. what that is, but that's crazy. Same principle, a bit of a different design, but same, same, same. You know, just like in the rest of the world. Maybe they built it there as well to. So, which is your preference? Because they say this is religious as well, for religion. So, do you prefer to yell and scream as a sinner in Europe and America or in Asia? Because if everything is religious, then. That's why you. This one is inferior to the stuff we've see, we've seen, but still superior. And no answers. I don't even know. I'm lost. Because you know, Ang Angkor Wat is. Um, it's a bit different. You can actually see the stone. Notre Dame. Same inside. Same inside. To yell and scream, because you know, that's what religion is all about. So magnetron. The yelling and screaming. And the place for religion. If you say something else, you're a conspiracy theorist. Why is everything so magnetron every, every time? Magnetron. Uh, is everything to do with semantic? Well, this is a painting. But um, you would say, well, it's a painting because somebody just imagined this in their brain. Did they? Or did they see it in the real world? Where right. is this building? That's a good question. Why is it so huge? When people get angry when I say white federation. Everything is so white. So, you know. So these designs, White I'll Federation. just present them to you, and you can decide whatever you wish. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to shut up because uh, the photo speaks for itself. Well, the photo, the image, the picture, the design, a bit of here and there, this humanity. Very big, by the way, and uh, they didn't work. They just enjoyed life. So I wonder what they ate and what kind of toilets they use. Look at this. Aren't you just shocked? What the heck? I almost shocked myself in the face. I'm just shocked. That was a nice move. Uh, Post-apocalypse, uh, uncontrolled vegetation in the ruins. And then we have the Renaissance. The world is rebuilt. Oh, uh, re rebuilt. But in a very uh, not so typical way. You know, like we've seen this in Germany in the project of the man with the mustache. I wonder if he got inspired by the other projects of the elite white federation and this is like even bigger than we see in russia and america and the, all the other places like way bigger i wonder if these existed at some point because you know when you nobody does this with so much detail and and perfection unless they have a certain real world influence um not even going to speak about how they build these places because there's no explanation and there's no construction for those don't worry even if you look for them. Uh, and please be amazed. Right. Be amazed at the epicness. I've seen these photos before. 
They were supposedly drawn but never built because the uh, structures would be too expensive. So, at least that's the official story, I guess, that they give us. Whatever you want to call it. Remember that the Earth is still spinning as a globe with curved water. Well, you see this and you live in these buildings because if you say something else, you're qualified as a conspiracy theorist and you have to go by the rules of what's acceptable in society. Just adding this so you can, because you know, we've seen these designs, so I'm just adding the uh, triumphal arches, which are white as well. So you understand. Ah, everything is so white. So yeah, is it forbidden to say the word white? I'm not even sure. I think everything is forbidden today. Uh, look at this pyramid. I wonder if you have these pyramids on the other forbidden continents, if you go in a straight line and you go to the ice wall and beyond. Which Antarctica doesn't exist. It's up to you to decide whatever you want to believe because my my quest is just to reach a bit of your mind if i can okay. and if i can't at least Maybe. i try and uh, you know they say uh, a photo is worth more than a thousand words and a thousand books and a thousand texts so a million texts so yeah you see same stuff as the triumphal arches and the palaces we see everywhere in the world I wonder what humanity was here. I hope you enjoyed. And especially these ones. Which are, yeah. Uh, your typical uh, big, huge, very, 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 very big. Let's go to the one I like a lot. This one. Makes me Favorite. feel like a little tiny piece of nothing. Look at this. Makes me, makes me feel like uh, very tiny. Alright, y'all. On that note, though, I'm a holler at y'all and... Maybe later tonight, I might get back on. But definitely tomorrow, I'll see y'all, though, if I don't get back on tonight. All right? Yeah.